Hello, welcome back. Uh, this is Damien. We're coming into Fallout 4 here. It's it's slowly loading. Um, <clears throat> whenever I was uh, pulling it up, I saw something with the Creation Club and Pluto being discovered 90 years ago, but um, I'll have to check into that later. We may look at it. Regardless, I don't have the money to invest in the Creation Club right now, so that's not going to happen, but uh, it was a curiosity. Um, now, it's been a couple of days since I've actually logged into Fallout 4. Uh, I've been, I started the XCOM 2 um, playthrough, and I have finally got a, another good Minecraft video for the Kashapon up. I've been trying to do one of those videos for about three days, and uh, the weather conditions here were right, because it's sunny out, or, you know, it was, and, um, I had good internet, and which I'm supposed to have good internet all the time anyway, but, you know, it is what it is, man. Uh, so I got that video up. Uh, the problem that I'm having at the moment, uh, and I just went ahead and decided to, to record, even though I'm, I'm having this, this little bit of an issue, is I don't remember what the hell I was doing. I think, this is what I think, and I could go back and watch the other video before I shot this one, but that's not any fun. Um, this will be fun because, you know, me being scatterbrained, trying to remember what I was doing is always good. Um, so what I think I was doing is I was coming back here and I was going to build some caravans. So let's test that theory and let's go to data and let's go to workshops. Ah, I have the large barge. I'm going to show you guys this, too. It may not be in this video, but I'll try to do it in this video. Um, <clears throat> the castle's happiness has been fluctuating, but I did uh, actually get them some more beds because they were really pissed off there was no beds. Uh, these guys are good. I mean, they have 144 defense. They should be good. I need Taffington Boathouse. I need Sunshine Tidy. And I'm going to check on uh, Grey Guard. So, um, yeah, Sunshine Tidings, we cleared it out. Um, and then there is Taffington Boathouse. And I'm going to see if I can send one to the large barge. I think that I will be able to build my actual home base on this large barge here, I think. Um, I went and looked at it, and it's a huge freaking barge, and it's connected to, um, what is that? The, the sewage treatment plant right here. Uh, it's not Weston. I can't remember um, the Warrington Estate or something. I can't remember what it is, but uh, it's right here, um, and there is a walkway connecting all the way out over the water to the large barge. So somebody theoretically could come through this settlement and use that walkway to become a settler, deliver supplies, whatever. So I'm going to check and see. But I need three. The first two I'm going to set up is Taffington and Sunshine Tidings because I have nobody at Taffington right now. And, you know, I might set that up as like, you know, a little vacation house for me. I don't know. Um... Uh, so let's go out here and let's see what we can, woohoo, it's been a while, like I said, this, uh, mouse is all over the place, so let's build a new automatron, <clears throat> alright, let's go ahead and make it. and you guys, um, you guys know how to do this. I immediately go into legs and I put the thruster. They just have so much better mobility with the thruster. And then their left arm and right arm, all I do is change their weapons to laser-based weapons. Um, well, that's nice. Let's see. Um, that's... I, I, I mean, I have um, everything I need to do a minigun. 
I usually do an automatic and then a scatter laser. Uh, now let me let me let me say this. I don't know how true it is for the entire game or for other people, but for me, do not put a melee weapon and a ranged weapon on a robot. From my experience in almost 3,000 hours playing this game, when you put a melee weapon and a ranged weapon on a robot, they get confused and they don't know which one to use, and a lot of times they don't use either one of them. So either put two ranged weapons or two melee weapons. And that way they always know their combat is in their head. They're like, I'm going to punch this fucker in the face or I'm going to shoot him from a mile away. Um, and, and like I said, this is just my experience in Fallout 4. Other people may have a different experience. So we're going to, on this one, we're going to give him uh, an automatic laser. And then on the right arm, we're going to give him the scatter laser. Um, now what that does is on his left with the automatic laser, he can get him from a good ways off. But if they happen to close with him, like in melee range, he's got the scatter laser, which is really going to be devastating. So um, that's why I do that. Now let's rename this guy. I'm going to try to call him uh, Large Caravan. And we'll see if he can go to the large barge. If not, I'll send him somewhere else. But now we're going to create him. We're going to step back. We're going to go into the workshop before he gets away. Uh, Sunshine Tiny Staffington, the large barge, he can go. That is awesome. It does have a workbench there, so it's awesome that we can actually set this up. So we're gonna send him to the large barge. Confirm. Very good, very good. All right, and now we need Tappington and Sunshine Tidings. Let him get away, because he'll try to talk to me if not. All right, and now we're going to do another new one, and immediately, legs, Mr. Handy Thruster, uh, right arm, we're going to go with, where's that, with that scattered laser, uh, left arm, we're going to go with the automatic laser, Uh, that's the protect drum, but I like to do this automatic laser, actually. All right, and then we're going to send him... Wait, we need to rename him. We're going to send him to Tappington. Tappington era. Wait. We're going to send him to Tappington. So I'm going to come out of this. Back up. All right. Uh, and you are going to go to Tappington Boathouse. Yes, and I'm noticing while I'm building these, I'm getting low on, uh, I'm getting low on supplies, so I really need to do something. Now, this is going to be Sunshine Tiding, so let's do another new one. Uh, and to be quite honest with you, this is all you need for a caravan. This is, I mean, put a thruster on him and put two weapons and let him go. Uh, you don't need a lot of... I mean, I have seen people build a sentry bot caravan with Gatling lasers to, you know, to run to Red Rocket or whatever. You don't need that. Sentry bots are slow and cumbersome. These guys are fast. Um, right hand is scattered, laser, and left is. But yeah, uh, looking over here, um, I've got 318 adhesive. I've got to get that up. Um, because if I build a whole bunch of these, and I will have an army, trust me. Uh, but let me not get too far ahead of myself. We've got the lasers on. We've got the thrusters. We're going to name him Sunshine Tidings. Sunshine. Sunshine. Oh, God, I can't spell. Tidings. Caravan. All right, and then let's get out of here, back up, 
because he'll ask you if you you know you want him as a companion if you want to change his personality blah 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 all right and that is sunshine tidings he is assigned now very good i'm going to come over here and i want to look at let's hit our all right so all these are good those are good these are good we have caravans going to all of our settlements now um the big thing we need to do now is make sure that all of our settlements um, have plenty of supplies. So, what I have not done, I don't think there's anything here. No, there's there's a little bit of concrete. Let me, we're going to run over to, um, let me, let me save real quick. I don't, oh, I can't save survival. Let me go in here real quick. I tried to do a quick save. <laughs> Uh, let's go in here and let's just select that. We'll do the auto save. Let's run over here because what I have not done is pulled out the things that I actually need to find, like adhesive, uh, lead, acid, things of that nature. Yeah. And see, these provisioners are still going out from Sanctuary. Had to give me a drink there. Sorry about that. Um, <clears throat> mm. So we're going to look in the... Um, we're going to look in here. Uh, let's go to junk. I need lead. I need acid. Uh, I need adhesive. Uh, I could mark years. I need nuclear material. Uh, aluminum will be fine. And I may double up on some of this. I may pick something up that uh, already did. I need tons of antiseptic. Actually, I don't need antiseptic as much as I did because I took off Charles's uh, overhaul. So I don't need as much of that as I did. Um, fertilizer, we'll grab that. Fiber optics. I want what's the uh, ballistic fiber? There we go. I want to find that. Um, copper. I think I've already picked up something that has aluminum in it, and I need crystal. Oh, I did it twice. Um, right now, I don't need ceramic. I have I have a good uh, uh, a good bit of ceramic, so we're good there. Uh, uh, oil. Yes, I want to get oil. I already picked up something. Crystal. Adhesive. That's good. I can't remember if I got something with circuitry. So, uh, Fiberglass I'm getting a little low on. We'll grab that. I think I picked up fiber optics already. And I uh, want gold. I always want gold. Gold, once I build my factory um, and I can make gold bars, uh, those are really, really tradable items. So let's go in here. Let's go to junk. And if I set the component view, all right, we need acid. And I'm just hitting Q for this. This is how you, this is how you set up to find stuff out in the world. <clears throat> because if you run across something that has one of these in it that you've marked, it will glow green and let you know that you need it. Um, so let's see, adhesive, aluminum, this is going to be very important for power armor and other things later. Uh, antiseptic, I'm not sure about asbestos. We'll mark asbestos. Uh, circuitry, um, copper and crystal, fertilizer, fiber optics. Not so much about fiberglass, I don't think. Uh, we'll mark gold and lead. Lead is very important. Nuclear material is important for fuel for the car. Um, I think that's going to do for the list for right now. And then, see how see how this glows green? That means there's stuff in there that I, I've marked. So now we're just going to store all that again. And then let's just look. I've got all my weapons. I uh, This is actually a 10 millimeter from Fallout 3. Um, I think it was cool. It was a cool addition because 
you know, the 10 millimeter you have in Fallout 4 is nice, but it's nothing like the 10 millimeter from Fallout 3. Hmm. Sweet tea, man. <clears throat> Um, I think my brain may be a little bit fuzzy too because I um, kind of started a little keto diet and I have not eaten today at all and it's 5.30. So um, that may be why my thought process is not working correctly. Let's put that up. We'll keep the rest. I'm not going to really bother with all this. I still got to turn that paint in at Diamond City. I've got a lot of notes in here that are quests that I need to do also. Uh, I have not read Hodge's journal yet, which is the Black Devil quest line. Ah, here we go. And should be good here. I need more um, two millimeter. I need more two millimeter EC cartridges. But as far as the weapons go, can we get to my weapons page? I've got a um, repeating rifle. Uh, I got my plasma. I've got the little gun runner, 10 millimeter submachine gun, and I got the pistol. I'm not carrying uh, the last minute. I did buy it. When I took Charles's mod off, the price went down. Um, and I went ahead and bought it. Uh, it still costs a good chunk of money, but it wasn't 15,000 caps. What time are we looking at here? Uh, I mean, I've got a card. I'm not worried about it. It's 10 a.m. All right. Uh, you are new. Yes, you are. So we're going to move you to the castle. And I'll have to put a bell in at the castle. She does scrap. He does scrap. I've got a lot of people on scrap here. Um, we've got enough people on food, and we've got enough water. Uh, I don't want to get too much further over 16 people here. Um, I want to uh, keep it at about 16 people. So most of the new people I'll come check out here, most of the new people, i send them to the castle. Once the castle gets full, I can send people, you know, to other settlements and get those filled in. Uh, and just real quick, this is a Mr. Salvage. Um, uh, you can assign him to salvage up stuff in, in here, but most of the time what I've seen is he'll run around for 10 minutes and then he'll come park himself right here. Uh, and he won't move. Um, so, I'm not sure uh, about that mod. Kanzi, you're just sitting over here, all depressed. Um, once I get pressed and maxed out, I will come get you, buddy, I swear. All right, do we have any quests that came up while I was doing all that? Getting a clue, Valentine's Detective Agency. Hang on. <clears throat> Excuse me, I had to sneeze. <clears throat> and my cords are tangled up on my headset, so I couldn't get to the mute button. Oops. All right, we can go to Jalbert Brothers Disposal to find the find the plasma. I can bring Jet to Mama Murphy. I'm not doing that while I have Preston, though. Uh, mutated ferns, uh, recovery of Faneuil Hall. I'm not going to do that. That's super mutants. We're not doing that right now. Um, I do want to do some of this Mama Murphy stuff because um, she will tell me the reset code for the Courser, uh, whenever I go to Green Tech, Green Tech Genetics to get the Courser chip, she will give me the reset code, basically. If I, you know, feed her Jet um, and feed her the chems that she wants, she'll give me the predictions and stuff. And then, you know, uh, once I get to that Courser, uh, we have that little conversation before combat initiates, and I can do his reset code, shut him down, get the thing, and go. Uh, and that's what I'm planning on trying to do here. But uh, let's see. Uh, did we... I think we opened up... Uh, yes. We opened up Fort Hagen. So we don't have to follow dog meat because that's a nightmare. <sighs> ah. 
But I tell you what we are going to do. <coughs> Excuse me. We are going to listen to a dog shake his head for a minute. And then we're going to come down here to Jalbert's. So what I'm going to do is we're going to take the car to Grey Guard. And we're going to go up to Jalbert's disposal and get that plasma rifle. So that I can take that Army note out of my uh, inventory. And we can just get that quest done. And that should be fine. Um, and then I can... Like I said, I can either show you the large bars now, or that can be in the next video or something. Hello. Hello. Well, them things get their speed up, and uh, they kind of scare. All right. So we're going to run down to Grey Garden. Yeah, right there. Alright, and it looks like I need some water. Let's let's have a bit of water here. I don't want to go in there. There we go. This unit is currently in factory default mode. See, this is why you get away from them. That is why you get away from them, because they will do that constantly. And I don't feel like going in there and taking them out of factory default and, you know, all that good stuff. That looks like a girl. I'll let her keep her clothes. And if you're wondering why I'm sneaking, it's because I know what's in here. And I'm collecting clothes again because uh, we want to get our cloth up. There you are. <clears throat> Damn it, where are they? Yeah, I know. I'm in danger suddenly. Bloody mess, yes. Move. All right, he's poisoned. Nuclear material. Nice. Where did the right here? Here we go. A frickin' rolling pin. A frickin' rolling pin, man. Ah, he had the plasma rifle on him. Nice. I did not know it was gonna be on a mole rat. Now those gamma rounds do sell pretty good. What the hell are you doing, Preston? You should 
get out of here as soon as you can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know. It's the children of Adam we're here, dude. What are you talking? Oh, corn. Uh, we'll save it. Insomnia, of course. Because you cannot just take an hour nap and be cool. All right. Let's grab that. And pick the lock. Got it. And get all the stuff, and I think that's pretty much it. I don't really care about the, uh... I don't really care about the, uh, computer over there. Alright, now there is a trap over here, and we should get a couple of more. Got the grenade bouquet. And for whatever reason, I didn't trip that. So, okay. Uh, now, I do see the two holes that they came, so we may have already gotten them. <clears throat> and I think we've got all the, the uh, children of Adam done up here. This says there's something in there I'm after. You saw it glowing green there. Yes. Uh, yeah, fuse and oil and, and isu, yeah. Okay, so that is Jalbert's. That should take care of that quest. I can get that note, and there's the plasma. I mean, it's just just a plasma rifle. You know, there's nothing special about them. Um, but when you get quests like that, you know, you just go get the stuff. Be done with it. I still want to get up there, guys. I want to get up there. And um, I turned it off, I think. But I had an elevator system mod set up at Grey Garden and at Finch Farm because you can build up there. That is actually within the build limit. It's up on that freeway there. And I think I turned the mod off, but I may, I may actually turn it back on because it just puts in elevators. Uh, so you can just get in the elevator and go right up here and you can build all up through here. The thing that I'm curious about though is the vertebrates down there, can we get across here? Because I know I can get up there. That's not the problem. And I do have a jet pack, so I'm not really worried about that either. Oh! Damn. Uh, I'll worry about all this stuff. I'll worry about that later. Um, what is, what am I, I have insomnia. Right, 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 right. So, uh, uh, for whatever reason, I just had bubble gum. There's antibiotics. Um, let's have some roasted Mylar meat. And some water. And I took something else by accident too. Okay. I still have radiation though. Uh, where is the, there we go. Let's have two mutant chops. Bubble gum, roasted marlark meat, mutant hound chops, there we go. Um, <clears throat> because uh, if I just do the, the chops, then I won't have to worry about having to drink more water and blah, blah, blah. Okay, so now we're gonna go to the castle And, uh, cause we're at 30 minutes, I'm gonna go to the castle, I'm gonna go ahead and show you, uh, the large barge, um. <coughs> Sorry about that. It's a new vape, and I'm still not completely used to it. No matter how, how low I turn it down, I'm still coughing after the second hit. So I don't know. I'm thinking about ordering another one, but I'm going to have to wait until I get some, some cash flow. Okay. It is definitely dark. So we're going to run on in the castle.
and I love how the lighting works, where all the lights are, you know. Uh, you definitely got, you know, you definitely got things you, you can see. Uh, okay, let's see. Uh, let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. Uh, I'm going to keep those on me. Grenades. I'm going to keep an extra. You know what? Just put everything in there right now. We got more corn, that's very important. Uh, let me grab two antibiotics out of there. Nothing to report at the moment. Stay tuned for updates. Don't wrap me up. Oh, psycho. Rad rat meat. I still haven't uh, gotten a recipe for rad rat meat. That may be over in uh, like Far Harbor or something. I don't know yet. All right, uh, was it the gunner's note? Yes, it was the gunner's note that had the plasma, so we're good. I can drop that. All right, and... There we go. I don't think I have any more two... No, I have no, no more two millimeter here. But, uh, all right. Now let's grab a little shut eye. You're tuned to Radio Freedom, voice of the Minutemen. Nothing to report. Stay safe. And in survival, it's always best to go ahead and get eight hours sleep when you can. Iguana soup. Probably had it. Still hungry though. Alright, let's have a noodle cup. There we go. Now we're good, good, good. Now, this is uh, something that struck me. It's funny. You cannot see the bard from here. You can't. Warwick Homestead. Yeah, that's the Warwick Homestead. You can see it, but you can't see the bard. It does not show up because obvious reasons but let's just get on out here now I could swim out there but um, this is actually I probably do need to swim out there this goes to Spectacle Island I think I have rowboats that go yeah this would take me to Spectacle Island now you can see the barge see it right there there's the barge right there um, yeah. see how big that thing is, man. This thing is huge. This thing is absolutely huge. Of course, I'm still fuzzy from the uh, drugs, but you know. <clears throat> this thing is huge. And I really believe that I will be able to build something that I can call a home base right here. I'm going to do some experimenting with it because, like I said, uh, I've never had this mod before. But um, it's pretty, I mean, I can, I can even work it into the story, you know, uh, how this thing got here. The Minutemen take over the castle, Warwick Homestead. You know, they want the protection of the Minutemen, so they bring all these barges together with their whatever, and, you know, this is all built, welded together, put together. There's, hey, 
Sweetheart, there's a walkway right there. There. Hey, you must be with the minute. Oh my god. Well, I really appreciate everything you guys do. Thanks. It was good to know. He's gonna change his clothes too. To More than likely. Keep up the good work. Here, take this. It's nothing much, but I hope it'll help the cause. Oh, he didn't. Okay. Usually he changes his clothes and puts his original clothes on and I have to take them away from him. So you swam across the radiated water and jumped up on the barge with your Brahmin to come over here and tell him he's doing a good job and I'm the general of the Minutemen. Bitch, get the hell out of here. <clears throat> but anyway, you know, I could work something into the story. I'm, I'm, I'm going to try to make this my actual, you know, my actual home base. I'm going to have this built up. I'll be friends with the Atom Cats over there, and I'll have Warwick, and I'll have my submarine parked right there. Um, I've already worked it all out in my head. You know, it's going to be awesome. The only thing that I'm really missing is a boat. I would like to have a boat. I really want a boat. But um, a submarine is definitely cool, and I will take that too. I just have to remember where it's at, and then go kill the captain and take it. Uh, but I wanted to show you the large barge, and I'm going to start working on building on it. Um, and turn this into my actual home. Uh, it's a, it's close to the castle, but it's far enough away that it's not at the castle. And it's not in any other settlement. And it's mine. So, that's probably uh, something that I'm going to look at doing, you know. Uh, but we're at about 40 minutes, and... I've shown you the bards now. We did the little quest, so we're pretty good to go. We got all of our supply lines set up, and we set what we're going to need into our uh, workshop. So whenever we find what we need, it's going to glow green, and we're good to go. So I will... Oh, look at that. Look at that cityscape. Oh, Boston. But anyway, uh, I will catch you guys on the next one. Uh, I'm going to be doing these between Minecraft and XCOM 2 still, you know... Um, and I'm still having a lot of fun with all of them. So hopefully you're enjoying the videos. And hopefully she's not stuck and will get the hell off my barge. So, yeah.